How's going on everybody? Welcome to part 5 of learning OpenCV from scratch and today in this part we are going to detect the edges of the image. In this part I will also tell you how to create this track bar using OpenCV so that you can accurately or find an optimal values for detect detecting the edges. I will also tell you how you can use your real time webcam video to detect the edges. So without wasting more time let's just directly dive into the video. Alright, so I am in Sublime Text Editor. You can use VS Code, Spider, as always. It, it's all your choice. So let's just start by importing CV2 and just reading the image. First, we will do this stuff on image. So we will read the image by saying cv2.imread. And in this case, it's test.jpg. Let's create a true loop and give a condition if cv2. Wait key, wait for one millisecond. If it is escape key, break and destroy all windows. And now we will also show the image to the user, save to dot image show and let's name this window and showing this IMG. So let's try this and run this if it works or not. Okay, so if I press escape key, it just takes me out of this loop and image disappears. So let's just start the video. Okay, so first and first off, you have to convert this image to grayscale. So let's just say gray is equals to cv2 dot cvt color and passing in this IMG. Uh, make sure cap C is capital in color all other are small case and then giving the code if you don't know what i am doing in this part like i'm just using the part one to four so you can just uh, go back and watch those part i will also link down the playlist in down description so bgr to gray so now our image should be in grayscale let's just see if it is not or okay so it is grayscale uh one one error we are getting is okay so here it should be o instead of i Okay, let's try this if this time we get or not. Okay, so we got no error. Okay, so first step has been completed, converting image to grayscale. Now just simply apply Kenny edge detection. So you heard it right, we are going to use Kenny edge detection method. Let's just name this edge and create a capital C, A double N I class object named edge and passing in this gray image, then upper threshold value and lower threshold value. For now, let's just give 60 and 120. Later on, we will use trackbar position to just find the optimal values. Okay, so let's uh, show edge instead of gray and let's try run this. Then you can see uh, image is in front of us and all the edges has been detected correctly. So now it's time to put the trackbar. Okay, so again, it is really easy. First of all, you have to say save it to dot named window. Okay, named window and passing in this window name, uh, this window name in im show window name. Make sure it's window and it's this window. Now we have to create a track bar. Similarly, you have to say save it to dot create track bar. Okay. Then you have to give the name to the track bar. Let's just give lower. And on which window do you want to place? In this case, it's this window named window. So it should be like window and then upper value. In this case, it's zero. And then lower value in this case is, is 255. Let's try save this. And if I run this, we got an error. Okay. So my bad. Uh, another argument, it takes a function. Uh, in this case, let's just define this function above this and name this function nothing because we actually don't want to do anything by this function. So we can say define nothing passing in this x value and then pass. Uh, I guess this function is uh, called whenever we set value in this track bar. So now if I save this and run this, then you can see we have a track bar but uh, actually nothing is happening with this. But before let's just do one thing, let's copy and paste one more time in order to create upper value upper and then everything should be same if I now run this then we should have two track bar on the screen all right now uh, we only want to take the value from this track bar uh, then there is a straightforward function for this let's just say x is equals to cv2 dot get capital T track bar and capital P O S track bar position and then you have to and then you have to give the track bar name as in this case it's lower and on which window it is placed in this case it's this one okay so we have to say window and let's do one more thing let's just get our y value which is upper value and in this case instead of lower it should be upper and now uh, instead of 60 let's just place x and instead of 120 let's just place y save this get out of this and run this and we have our track bar and now if i try changing the value of this track bar then you can see uh, the results are happening in real time yeah everything is working smoothly okay now let's move one step further and just apply this all stuff to the real time webcam okay it's straightforward actually but still i'm going to show you let's say cap is equals to cv2.video 
capture and we want we, and we want to capture from our webcam and in our true loop let's read the frame let's say img is equals to cap dot read and instead of converting grayscale over here we have to convert grayscale in the true loop and i guess everything is looking good let's try running this if we get any error we will manage then okay let's try changing the positions yeah we have pretty smooth result and you can see it is really good and one more thing i just want to show you if your results are not satisfactory one thing you can apply is the blur function i guess you already know about blur function i have already talked about that let's say img equals to cv2 dot blur and passing in this img and giving the kernel size let's say 5.5 5 should be pretty huge let's say 3.3 .3. let's save this and run this all right yeah you can see it is very good okay so it is detecting every edge perfectly so this is it for this video if you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a thumb up and give a subscribe to my channel and with this said i would like to stop right here and i will see you in the next